If you've never hit topspin before, or maybe you want to improve your topspin, here are some quick progressions that you can go through to really improve your topspin forehand. The first thing I want you to do is take a ball and come up close to the net and pin the ball against the white part of the net, the top strap. Find yourself some space, set up your paddle like this so that it's completely parallel to the net, and then practice rolling the ball over the net. Notice that my racket continues in this direction, the angle stays the same the whole time, and the only way for me to hit it over the net is to hit it with topspin. I can't hit through the net, I really have to roll up. If you're right-handed, you'd line up more like this, pin the ball against that part of the net, and try to roll the ball over the net. Now the higher the better, sometimes it's tough if the net's not that tight, but something like that, you'll start seeing the forward rotation on the ball. Now in terms of the grip, you don't want to go too extreme with the grip, especially when starting out, so I don't recommend a semi-western grip or a full western grip where your hand is in a position like this, because this is going to close the face of the paddle a lot, making it easy to get topspin but hard to lift the ball over the net. So I encourage you to start off with more of an eastern forehand grip. If you're left-handed, same thing. We don't want our grip too much like this or like that because it's gonna close our paddle face a lot. And so go with a little bit more neutral grip, Eastern, maybe even moving it towards Continental just to get the feel of the top spin motion and have that success of being able to lift the ball over the net a lot. After you've got the feeling of rolling the ball over the net a couple times, another progression you can go through is using this tool called the Top Spin Pro. Now if you don't have a Top Spin Pro, that's okay. You might skip this progression but still good to watch and see what I'm doing when I'm hitting the Top Spin Pro. So in the first round, I'm gonna stand on the side of the Top Spin Pro if I'm right-handed on this side. And my objective is just to make this ball spin forward. And so if I just come up, notice how I make the ball spin forward just by coming up. So notice my stance is kind of centered on the Top Spin Pro. If I stand too far back, now I'm gonna to have to swing forward to meet the ball. If I stand a little further forward, now I can swing just directly up. And we're actually gonna use this swing in a later progression. So directly up, just making that ball spin forward, getting the feeling of the top edge first coming into the ball. And then you could try actually making this device go forward as the ball's spinning. So I might put the ball a little forward in my stance. So my front foot is more in line with the Top Spin Pro. And now I'm coming in from a position like this. And now I'm coming in from a position like this, making that ball spin forward as the lever also moves forward. So I have more of a forward swing coming into the Top Spin Pro. Same thing if you're right-handed, I might move backwards a little bit for this second round so that my paddle's coming forward as it's brushing up, continuing to focus on the top edge of the paddle coming into the ball first. So now I'm actually gonna demonstrate some live shots with topspin. And the first thing that I want you to do is focus on playing the ball around your back foot if you're standing in a sideways position and swinging 100% vertical. So my paddle does not have to move forward to the ball because I'm letting it come back in my stance as opposed to if I'm playing it out here, I have to swing forward a lot. We'll get to that later. And so watch this as I just toss it to myself I start with my paddle behind my back foot. I drop it or toss it to myself and I swing 100% vertical, finishing high. So I'm creating a nice high ball with a lot of rotation that brings it down into the court. So again, drop it in line with my back foot and I just swing 100% vertical. So here's a couple more examples of those. Starting paddle back, 100% vertical. Now I think it's really important to get the feeling of this one because you get the feel of how topspin is created. A lot of players will jump right into trying to hit a topspin like that, but they don't know how topspin is created so they can't fix it if they're not getting enough topspin on the ball. So now we're gonna take this swing where I'm just going 100% vertical and I'm gonna make contact a little bit further in front. So in between my feet, you could even try at your front foot with the idea that the paddle now has to come forward as it's coming up 
So I'm doing more of a forward swing, but I'm still trying to get the essence of this. And I'm trying to produce a high flying ball. If I can hit it really high with a full swing and keep it in the court, that's a good sign because that means I'm getting a lot of top spin on the ball. Just playing the ball a little further in front this time. One thing I want you to notice is my paddle starts parallel to the net. It stays parallel to the net the whole time. So there's none of this happening, no, no twisting of the wrist in either direction, but trying to keep that same angle the whole time. Notice how I'm very still. I'm not really moving unless I have to. Trying to keep everything very simple at first until I really get the feel of it before I try to do anything more complicated. Once you get confident, then you can slowly start adding more pieces. So notice that I was not focused on turning my shoulders or using my legs at all. I also wasn't doing a complex backswing. That stuff can all be added in slowly once you really get the feel of having control with a simplified version first. Now I turn with two hands, swing with one. Then I'm gonna add in a little more legs once I feel good about that. Sit and lift. So same thing if you're right-handed, after I've done this one a bunch of times, then I should start focusing on turning my shoulders a little bit. Now I add some legs, bending and then getting taller as I'm hitting the ball. And then finally I can add in a more complex shoulder turn if I want to generate even more racket head speed. So notice I'm not doing the simple turn now, but I'm doing a more complex turn. But don't be that person that makes the mistake of trying this one the first time you're ever trying topspin. I want you to have success with all these progressions first before you ever try to hit like that. Same thing right-handed, sorry if it's bad. You've probably noticed that I'm not right-handed. And so that's a quick rundown on topspin. The beauty of topspin is it allows you to take a full swing but because you're putting a lot of spin on the ball, it makes it come down quickly, quicker than a slice will come down. So this also allows me to aim higher above the net and take less risk hitting into the net, but still make the ball into the court. Topspin also allows you to hit very high above the net with a full swing and still keep the ball in the court because that topspin makes the ball go down. Whereas if I wanted to hit the ball really fast without topspin, I have to aim very low above the net, which might result in more errors.